Hey guys, welcome to another how-to video. I'm Lisa, this here's Alan. Today we're going to be showing you how to install a Gemini S524 onto your motherboard. Alan, take it away. Thank you, Lisa. Okay guys, let's get started now. So the first thing we need to do is take out all the accessories out of the bags. Next step is to remove the safety protector. And since we're using an Intel motherboard, we need to use the Intel mounting hardware that came with the accessory kit. Okay, now let's go ahead and mount the brackets onto the cooler itself. You're gonna need the small screw that came in the accessory kit to secure the brackets. Now we have the mounting brackets installed onto the heatsink. Before we move on, make sure that you place the screws right here in the correct uh, mounting hole. Since we're using the 1366, make sure that when you change them, you press downward, you push outward until it locks in place. And you do that for all four corners. Once you do that, you can move on to the next step. The next thing you wanna do is use the anti-vibration rubber pads and place them where the screws would go through the CPU cooler. Okay, now that we have that there, we can mount the thermal paste onto the CPU, put a dot in the center, and with the business card, evenly spread it out through the CPU. Okay. Now that we have everything installed, thermal paste, the rubber pads, we can place the heat sink on top of the motherboard like this. Make sure that the portion that has the cutout right here, it goes over your uh, memory. Okay. Now we can flip the motherboard around. so that we can secure it with the back plate. This side is for AM2, AM3, and this side right here is for the Intel sockets. So we're gonna place this side against the motherboard and secure it with the nuts provided in the accessory kit. Place one first. The next one you wanna place diagonally across Place the next one. And finally, the last one. And when you tighten them, you can use the wrench that came with the accessory kit. Repeat it, the same steps that you did when you were mounting them. First one, then you go diagonally across until you tighten all of them. And just make sure that they're firm. It's not too tight, but not loose that you're heat tank is not going to make complete contact. Okay, so now we're done installing the Gemini S524 onto this motherboard. If you want to install a 140 millimeter fan on here, just simply remove the screws right here, mount your 140 and use the same screws that came with this onto the heat tank to secure it tightly. So once you're done with that, if you use a 140 or a 120, you can go ahead and mount it inside your case and you finish the installation process. All right, thanks guys for joining us on another how-to video. Today you got to see how to install a Gemini S524 onto your motherboard. I'm Lisa, this is Alan, we'll see you guys next time.